Good morning, everybody. It's not quite afternoon yet. It's 11 o'clock. Uh, today, I finally decided that I'd record and post a video one more time. Uh, at least one more time. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be reviewing a product that I have found zero, zero videos for on YouTube. Uh, it is the Buck 557 Pro. Uh, it's the open season folding Skinner knife. Um, I've looked on YouTube. I cannot find anything about it. I've found two articles about it online, and I'm genuinely, genuinely surprised uh, because this knife is absolutely awesome. I'm going to show you later in this video just how cool it is. But anyway, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking this knife, we're going to be getting some softwood, we're going to get some cordage, and I'm going to demonstrate this knife's cutting ability after I tell you about some specs. Uh, so let's get, let's hop into the specs real quick and then we'll grab a stick. We'll grab some cordage. We'll make a tri stick, slice some cordage and uh, just show you how this thing per performs. And before I do that, I would just like to say that this knife is advertised as a hunting knife. It is a pro skinner knife in their, in the buck USA, uh, open season hunting section or uh, series. Um, even though that is the case, I don't hunt that much, and I've been carrying the Buck 110 S30V version for a long time and straight used it for bushcraft and everyday carry, and it's performed just beautifully. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be talking about this in terms of bushcraft and uh, everyday carry, which I guess you may consider a disservice to its true purpose, even though I think that if a knife can hunt, it should definitely be able to do some everyday carry tasks. So anyway, let's get into the specs. All right, guys, so here we have the knife. It's closed, Buck 557 Pro Skinner. So this knife is part of the Buck USA open season uh, hunter line. Uh, it has a bunch of fixed blades from large fixed blades to small fixed blades, like small game fixed blades or even moose hunters. Um, it has folding knives. Um, and currently the only ones left in the line that are still available are the 556 uh, Skinner and the 557 Pro Skinner. I do not have the 556, but the dimensions of it are the exact same. The only difference is the blade steel, the handle material, and the opening mechanism, which on the 556, it is 420HC for the blade steel with the Paul Bose heat treatment, which makes it a very, very good steel. Uh, it is a thumb hole open, kind of like a Spyderco, instead of a thumb disc. And the handle material is Dymalux Redwood, which is, it's this partially synthetic, partially uh, birchwood handle material. It's really pretty looking, uh, but that's not what we're going to be talking about today. So we're going to be talking about this. So the Buck 557 Pro is a USA made Buck knives uh, knife, and it is advertised as a skinning knife. Uh, as you can see, it has that skinning profile. It is S35VN blade steel. And the blade is 3.75 inches long, which is the same size blade as the Buck 110. Um, this does have a drop point blade with jimping in two areas and a slight recurve along the edge. So this gives you a lot of edge in a smaller package. And the jimping gives you a very secure grip, no matter what uh, grip you're doing. So the handle scales are canvas micarta in OD green. Uh, the handle length is 4.5 inches, which combined with the blade together gives it an 8.25 inch length. Uh, so closed, it is going to be 4.5 inches. And this is a lockback design, and it is on phosphor bronze washers. I don't know if you can see in there or not, which gives it a very smooth open and close, as you can see here. You can hold the lock and flick it open and closed, which is awesome. You can't do that with the Buck 110. Uh, this knife does have a hollow grind blade style, just like the uh, Buck 110. Um, the difference with this though, is the blade is thicker, or not thicker, but taller. Uh, it might be a little thicker in the stock. I'm not entirely sure about the stock width, but it is tall. And same with the handle, it is round and it fills your hand up. Now the micarta in the handle is contoured and it is textured. It has these lines and grooves for texturing and it fits your hand very, very well. It is extremely comfortable. And as you're gonna see in this video uh, in a little bit, 
when I was carving with it, when I was doing some work with it, there are zero hot spots. It is absolutely an extremely comfortable knife, which is another reason why I'm so surprised people aren't talking about it because this thing, I could not find a single hot spot on this. There's nothing about it. Like even holding it like this with this little bit coming out, it's not even a hot spot that it doesn't poke into you. Uh, it feels really good. So, and like I said earlier, this is S35VN blade steel, which uh, gives it uh, vanadium and ribrium uh, carbides inside of this steel so it's extremely tough it stays sharp for a long time it's a powdered super steel so it's going to do a lot of things and it's going to do them well and for comparison i have my everyday carry buck 110 on me so you can kind of see the size difference the buck 110 is ever so slightly like point something some point tenths of an inch longer than this is uh, but this, the Buck 110, is a smaller package in terms of the handle and the uh, blade size. Uh, everything about the 557 is just taller and thicker, which isn't bad. It's extremely comfortable. Both of them are extremely comfortable. I have no hot spots on either of them. They're just made so ergonomically. Now, the uh, 557 Pro does come with a sheath. Uh, let me grab it. It is a full leather sheath made in the USA, which if you know anything about bucks, the uh, traditional Buck 110, 112 sheaths are made in Mexico. This one is proudly made in the United States. So, and it hold, it uses the same sheath as the Buck 547, which I don't know what that is off the top of my head, um, but I don't even know if they make those anymore. Uh, but the sheath is a standard snap closed sheath with two belt sections, one for vertical carry you can slip your belt through there and one for horizontal carry which you slip your belt through there i think that's awesome that they give you these options um, and it kind of modernizes buck a little bit and I, I really enjoy it and that's one thing that uh i'd like to bring up about buck is that they're very much known for their traditional blades like their 110 their 112 their 119 120 stuff like that um, they're traditional folding knives that everybody knows and loves, and they've done a great job in some areas of modernizing knives. Like this buck is an S30V, which is another powdered uh, metallurgy super steel, um, and this is an S35VN. So they are doing good in terms of getting new steels out there that are treated well, because both of these have the Paul Bose heat treatment, which is wonderful. It does a great job making sure that the steel and the knives is treated well. Um, and they've done great in modernizing some of their hunting line, especially with the, uh, open season hunting line. These are modern style knives that are built very well and done wonderfully. Uh, and then you look at some of their modern folders and they kind of fall a little flat. And that's the thing. I think that Buck has a very good niche and they should probably stick to it. I think they do a great job with these hunting knives they have. And I love this thing, as you're going to see. And it does a great job. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, uh, you can, you have the sheath, and it fits in the sheath any way you want. You can have it left-handed, right-handed, uh, and you can have the sheath carried vertically, horizontally, either way, even downwards if you want it like that. Uh, and it won't shake close or shake out easily. You're going to need a lot of bouncing force. Like, you're going to have to be riding a horse or something for that to fall out. But anyway, that is the specs of the blade. We'll uh, go, we'll get a stick, and we'll uh, do some carving. Kind of show you the performance of this blade. All right, guys, so we've got our stick. We've got our knife. Let's get to work. I'll set this on a time lapse so it doesn't take forever for you. And then I'll kind of talk about its results afterwards. All right, guys, so I finished kind of what I want to do on this with the knife. I think what I've done so far kind of demonstrates its capabilities very well. Um, so what I did was I did a spear point, which that 
it did great on. Its slicing ability is wonderful, and we can kind of attribute that, that to a sharp uh, recurve blade. It has that curve for a little bit of extra cutting edge, so when you're sweeping that motion, you're getting a lot more cut out of it. Next, we have a saddle cut, which uh, you can see here. Uh, it did pretty well. Um, it not being like a perfect view was my fault. Uh, it was cutting pretty well. What it wanted to do was it kind of wanted to jump a bit. And I don't know if that's me or if that was the blade shape because I kind of wanted to do a flatter a flatter cut. Uh, and the roundness of it was just kind of jumping it about. Don't know if that was me. I haven't had that problem with my 110. My 110 normally would cut through that pretty well. So I want to say it might be the recurve, but I could be wrong. If you know, you know, please let me know. Next, I did a... There we go. A 90 degree cut right here. Uh, again, this little imperfection over here is my fault. Uh, but we have a flat right here. And then we have its little gradual curve down there. Um, it did pretty well uh, on that. Uh, nothing really to complain about. I mean, I uh, it performed very well. It performed like my buck does. Uh, didn't have any issues with it. Besides a little bit of bouncing on the curving cuts. Um, which you can kind of see in the... Uh, like cuts of it next we did a hook which it did great on the hook i uh, i really like making hooks i think hooks are very fun to do um i think they take they're they're a little bit of a skill tester but they're also kind of fun it's a lot of uh different just it's not a straight cut it's a lot of curving and stuff like that and also helps you practice kind of like these engraving cuts um but it did great on that uh i actually didn't have any bouncing issues on this little flat down here um, and it did wonderful carving out the insides of it. I think that was definitely like a faster hook that I've done before. And then finally, we have, basically I just did a flat here. I didn't really flatten it out too much. It's flat this way. It's not straight uh, in line. Um, and I also kind of dug a little hole into it, which um, I'm a little, I'm not quite sure how to, how, to say it, if it dug the hole better or not, it felt about on par with my buck. Uh, the buck has a clip point blade. This is a drop point blade. So I think this might be a little bit better at it uh, just because you have a bit more roundness kind of pulling the material out. Uh, but I mean, it was very comparable to my buck. But I mean, overall, the point of this is that it cut very well. Um, I didn't have any hot spots or anything like that. It is extremely comfortable. You can hold this in a variety of different ways. Like you can kind of choke up on it like this. You can get your little skinning sweeping uh, grip on it. You can grip it with your thumb out like that. Normal hammer grip, reverse hammer grip if you need to slice something up. This is pretty comfortable. It's not quite as comfortable as the buck just because you have a little bit of a cutout right there, right here. That would be kind of digging in your hand. But if you kind of get it a certain way, it doesn't touch your skin and you can just easily... But uh, besides that, I mean, it did really well cutting. I did not have an issue with that. And I mean, the, the blade edge that was given via buck when they ground it out was phenomenal, as always. All right, guys, so this is the Buck 557 Pro. Uh, we just did our feather stick and tri-stick uh, tri test. So next, we're going to kind of, I'm going to undo this little bit of paracord and just kind of show you how this does handling paracord cuts. Um, I don't have a lot of paracord, so I'm just kind of undo a little bit and give you a little, uh, give you first a little snippet of a single loop. So I'm going to stick that under there and pulling cut, easy peasy. Next, we'll do a slicing cut. See how easy it does that. Let me unwrap a little bit more. All right, here we go. So slicing cut, easy, like butter very easy even after doing a little bit of carving and some stuff yesterday so and it is s35vn so the edge is going to you know wear out very slowly next i am going to i'm going to put two cords together like this and show you the uh pull cut there we go easy so this kind of demonstrates that the 557 pro it has a good edge and it has good geometry to where it's slicing well. Uh, I think it's very good in this regard. It slices well, it's cutting well. I mean, it is a skinning knife and you're getting a lot of a uh, belly and edge for that job, but that also just kind of helps in terms of some basic everyday carry or bushcraft uh, tasks. 
So I, uh, I really, I, tr I truly am enjoying this so far. All right, guys. So that kind of concludes our little uh, overview of the Buck 557 Pro open season skinning knife. Even though it is advertised as a skinning knife, this thing, I believe, would make a wonderful, wonderful everyday carry knife and a uh, wonderful, uh, at least kind of like bushcraft uh, sidekick, if you want to call it that. Like you'll have your standard fixed blade for bushcraft, like I have my Buck 119 here. Uh, and if you need a little, little folding knife with it, you've got your 557. And a little fun fact that I've noticed, this thing, because it's on washers, it is extremely easy to just flick open and you can flick it closed. Here, let me, let me, you see that? It, uh, it opens a bit more modern-like than your standard buck 110, which you need basically two hands to close. But uh, anyway, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I hope this kind of does a good job of being the first YouTube video on this particular knife buck 557 pro skinner usa made s35 vn green canvas micarta and a whole lot of comfortable slicing ability so anyway guys thank you for watching this is rubaluna woods have a wonderful day go outside practice learn a new skill thanks